Hi guys, Darren here with another haul video. Um, again, I'm going to find myself apologising for the lateness of this video appearing. This is actually for comics that were on sale on the 4th of December, which was actually a couple of days after I got back off my holiday. Um, I've only been back two weeks, and as soon as I got back it was right into the Christmas craziness, so there's been a lot of shopping and that kind of thing to do. So, um, apologies for the delay. Uh, but now things are getting a bit more back to normal um, hopefully things are going to be a bit more regular. Um, as I say, this is a whole video, but also at the end of it, keep watching because I've got um, some Kickstarter rewards that I've just received that I'm really excited about and happy to be sharing with everybody. So stay tuned for that. But getting straight into the haul to start with, and I'll start with DC Comics. Um, picked up issue 26 of Detective Comics with that absolutely brilliant cover. I really love this. And then issue 26 of Swamp Thing. If you've been watching my videos regularly, the few that I've done so far, you'll know that um, I've started picking this up on the recommendation of a lot of members of the community. Um, I've just recently um, sent for from the internet the last two issues that I need to complete my run of the Charles Sewell um, segment of the storyline. So as soon as those two issues appear um, I'll be able to start reading this and catch up with everything. And then moving on to Marvel we've got issue 9 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, artwork by Francesco Francavilla and the cover as well. And sadly, the last issue, issue number 12 of the Fearless Defenders. Um, I'm going to miss this. It, it, it started off well and then it kind of got lost a little bit towards the end. Um, but I'm going to miss these awesome Mark Brooks covers. And lastly for Marvel, we've got um, number one of Inhumanity, and I've picked up the, as you can see, the Scotty Young variant there, which I was really pleased about. And moving on to the small press books, um, issue 18 of Grim Fairy Tales Wonderland, with another brilliant Francesco cover, and a one-shot which is the Grim Fairy Tales Holiday Edition for 2013 and that's the cover by Joe Picar which I think is really good. So that was my smallish haul for the 4th of December but the things that I really wanted to show you were my Kickstarter rewards that I've just received. Um, I've actually um, done quite a few Kickstarters over the last couple of years and got some really really good rewards. Um, I've done one by uh, Amy Reader, which was a, a one-shot called Halloween Eve, and that was subsequently released through Image Comics. And I also did a Kickstarter for issue one of Super from Unlikely Heroes Studios, and that's up to about issue number four, I think, is the next one that's coming out, and that's been really good. Um, one that I missed when um, the did the first Kickstarter was um, a comic called The Mighty Titan. Um, this is uh, being produced by a comic creator called Joe Martino and Joe has for the last few years been battling against cancer and what he decided to do was use this as an inspiration for um, a comic book creation whom he, he called the Mighty Titan and this is actually a superhero who gets cancer um, and I thought this was a really brilliant idea like I say I missed the, f the first Kickstarter but then he did a second one and for issue two and one of the rewards that he offered was um, the chance to pick up uh, two covers of issue one and two covers for issue two so I jumped on this and a couple of weeks ago I, really, I received the issues. Um, so here we have um, issue one and this is the Jerry Ordway cover 
which is really good. I hope you can see it properly. And all of the issues that have been sent have all been signed by Joe Martino. So there's Joe's autograph there. And then we've got the variant issue of, um, of number one. Um, and this is the uh, Chris Giarusso cover. Um, and it's kind of his uh, homage to the Jerry Ordway cover. Again, signed by Joe. And then we have um, the regular cover of issue two, which is a Jamal Eagle cover. Yeah. All signed. And the variant cover, which is by Jimbo Salgado. And as part of the um, stretch goals, for if the Kickstarter exceeded um, more than the amount that it was hoping to raise, um, I also got a copy of number 2.5, which is a crossover issue. Again, everything's been signed, so really happy about that. And the other stretch variants, uh, sorry, stretch target goals. Um, were for some um, mini prints. So we've got here one by Fred Hembecker, again signed by Joe Martino, and this brilliant one by Jimbo Salgado. So that was a really, really brilliant package I received. And equally good was another Kickstarter this one has been kind of going on for a long time. I think the original Kickstarter was um, kind of solicited um, about a year ago. And it was originally going to be, I think, an, an 80 page trade paperback. But because various um, stretch targets were achieved, it's eventually turned out as, um, I believe, a 112 page hardcover. Um, and that is by um, Gil Simone and it's called Leaving Megalopolis and like I said this is a hardcover really well produced um, also got a postcard and a bookmark which will be coming really handy for reading it um, and this has also got, as well as been written by Gil Simone, it's got some brilliant artwork by Jim Calafiore. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but the artwork's really, really good. I've just had a quick flick through this. Um, not had a lot of time to do much reading since I got back off my holiday, but um, it just looks brilliant and I can't wait to read it. And one of the great things about these Kickstarters, if I can show you, is that quite often as a reward for helping to fund the project um, they do a section where they print the names of all the people who have actually contributed and I can't find it in here there we are so we've got about four pages there of all the contributors to the Kickstarter this particular one did immensely well it exceeded its target by thousands and thousands of dollars and that's why they were able to do such, uh, such brilliant um, stretch stretch goals for this so very happy to get this and very to, very happy to get my name inside a book that's um, got Gil Simon's name attached to it so that's it for this video everybody um, thanks for watching um, this is the first video I've done since I've become a member of the YouTube comic community. So I hope all you YCC um, members enjoy watching this. And if you've enjoyed it, please feel to like it, um, comment and subscribe. Um, so thanks for watching and I look forward to doing my next video. Bye.